Hello, my name is Rodrigo Constanzo. I'm a musicianship tutor at the Rona of the College of Music on the Popular Music course. And today I'm going to be dealing with a concept called moving the clock. Now as musicians we learn quite early on that time is something that we follow. We follow the metronome and then later on when we sort of play in bands we follow the drummer or we follow somebody. But time is something that, that we need to really generate internally. So this is a really good exercise for dealing with the concept of generating time. And that really gets us sort of inside the pocket or inside the groove. It lets us sort of feel subdivisions a lot better. So for this exercise we need a metronome and we need some participants. So here we have some students from the course. All right, so I've got a metronome that goes really slow, so you need something that goes at least to 20. So I'm just gonna turn it on at 20 BPM. So at this speed, we're not really gonna hear a tempo or a pulse. So I'm gonna go with Alex over here. So what I'm gonna want Alex to do is to put the metronome so this beep happens on beat three of a bar of four. So in order for him to do that, he needs to sort of generate four, four time, and then he needs to generate time so that this ends up on three. So first, we gotta break it into four. which is quite difficult at this slow tempo. So we've got sort of a four and he's already subdividing. So then since we need beat three, what he's gonna do internally is when the beep goes off, he's gonna say three and then he's gonna go on to four and then he's gonna start clapping on one. So give that a go whenever you're in. But clap every beat as you go on. Right. Uh, yeah, it's difficult. So what you're gonna do is when it comes on, you're gonna, exactly, but you start copying on the one. One, two, three, four. Yeah, but clap every beat. Two, three, four, exactly. All right, so that ends up being a sum tempo that's a division of this. So now we'll pass it on. So give him a different time signature, so not four. Um, so you can stop clapping it. Three. <laughs> so three, so what beat of three is he gonna put it on? Um, so you're gonna put it on beat two of a bar of three. So for this, you're gonna to have to break it into three. So it'll be slower. So then everybody can sort of try working out internally. All right, so once you've got that going, then you're gonna to say to yourself two. You got it. Yeah. And a very slow tempo is very unforgiving. There's very little leeway there. All right, so we got that down. So if we move on to Mattis now, so give him a, a subdivision. So give him a time signature and then tell him the and of a beat. Okay, um, the and of two in five. <laughs> okay, so for subdivisions, it's a little trickier. So what we need to do is we need to first find the pulse like we did before. So let's break this into five. Yeah. Okay, so once we have the pulse of five, five. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a tricky one, particularly in some pitches. Okay, so we, we've got a five. All right, once we got the five going, we need to internally subdivide that. So one and two and three and four and five. So once we have that locked in, which we've got now, so since he needs the end of two, right as the click happens, he's immediately going to say three. And then he has to sort of shift his internal clock over to that. Three. Three, four, five. Two. Uh, he's got past it. It's, uh, <laughs> that's all right, it's tricky. One. Right, so let's take it back to the five. Yeah. One, two. So you spell yeah. a little past it. Well, Alright, so it's a very challenging exercise. Okay, so let's take let's get another subdivision. Yeah. Uh, so give him a time signature and give him a beat. Uh, four four mm -hmm. and uh, the one and. So the and of one. And of one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The end of one and four four. So break it into four first. Once you have that locked in, subdivide it. One and two and three, four and one 
All right, so we've got the subdivision now, and now you're gonna say the and right as the beep happens, and then you say the next number. Make sure you shift your clock over. One, two, three, four, one, two. There we go. Yeah. All right. Now, for an additional challenge, we might try it. May or not work out, but we can go to um, semi-quaver subdivision. So we'll, tr we'll see if we can get that going. It, it might not be able to, but that's all right. So let's try. Let's do the the E. So one E and the, so the second semi-quaver in a bar of two four of the second beat. So the E of two and two four. E and the, yeah. So for this, we're gonna sort of break this in two. Well, actually, we can break it in four and then sort of use that as a method. Two and To apply the same approach. So we're going to say the E and then we're going to write onto AND. And during that first run, you have to quickly shift your, your beat over. Two, E, and, uh, E, and, uh, one, E, and, uh, two, E, and, uh, one, E, and, uh, two, E, and, one, E, and, uh, two, E, and, one, E, and, uh, two, E, and, one, E, and, uh, three, E, and, there you go. All right, um, and if we wanted to, we won't try now, but we can also go into triplet subdivision. So if you're doing a lot of jazz or a lot of swing, you can try putting this on the put or the let of a triplet. So putting it on the third triplet of a bo on beat four. So the, the sort of the swing up, dun 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 dun, dun, dun things like that. So let's try. Let's end try with that. um. Well, let's end with the end of three and a bar of six. And three six. So we're gonna break it into six. This is the look of musicians thinking. Yeah. Okay. Under three. Yeah. So now we want to subdivide. And and and. So we want the end of three. So yeah, four, five and six, and four and five and six. And so we want to say and, and then say four, four, five, six, one, two, three, and so you have to sort of jump on a moving treadmill, basically. Oh, a little fast. Oh <laughs> god. All right. <laughs> so there we have moving the clock, a very challenging exercise dealing with time generation. Now this is a really good group exercise. We can pass it from person to person with each person giving the next person a, a more complicated challenge as we move down the line. And uh, if we wanted to, you can t also take this onto instruments and have each player, instead of clapping a rhythm, sort of come up with uh, a riff in four or in five or whatever, and moving the metronome for a more sort of practical hands-on approach. And that's that. Thank you. <laughs>